so we're celebrating the past 50 years. We're also uh, celebrating that women have been allowed to fly in combat for the past 30 years. It's not a long history. It's really not that long uh, in, our, in our nation's history. I'm proud of the trailblazers that set the path in motion for me to be here, for us to be here now. I'm grateful. I remember being in high school and seeing very rarely, but occasionally there were articles of these first female naval aviators. And today, you know, we have examples of these great women doing great things in naval aviation, and it's becoming less of a shock. And that is fantastic. We now have generations, plural, of women who will grow up seeing other women fly and how important it is to kind of continue that legacy. We bring so much to naval aviation to help keep it going and help to meet the mission and then, uh, you know, be ready for combat. There's really no area that women have not permeated throughout the Navy. Naval aviators are brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers, but we're also very dedicated to what we do. Whether you're the pilot in command or whether you're the work in the mission or whether you're the person helping, you know, your crew, the maintenance side of things, or just everything. And there's, there's no limit to our bounds. We honor the generations that came before us that brought about the changes that allow us to be here where we are now. But it's so exciting to think about the changes we haven't even imagined yet. We just have to continue to, to forge ahead and, and continue to redefine what it looks like to be a naval aviator. Being one of the few women going through, I have seen that when we are in these minority groups, whether it's a race, a gender, a ethnicity, uh, that we do need to be that person who reaches back and helps the, helps the others. When you see people that look like you doing the job that you wanna do, then you already know that those barriers have been tackled. If you don't, then how do you know it's there unless you know we get out there and show that, hey, you know, especially for women, that, hey, women can be naval aviators, so you can achieve this too. I am so excited for the next generation. They have examples in front of them of both men and women who are doing phenomenal things. And inspiration is what drives them to pursue dreams. I would tell, encourage anyone that is pursuing, trying to pursue a career in naval aviation, just to go for it. Don't put a ceiling on yourself. If, if that's your dream, that's your passion, Pursue it with everything that you have. There's always room for more awesome aviators in the Navy, and the more people we have that are interested, the higher quality of our community we can build.